All right, so the other morning I got up real early to try to beat the heat and I worked on my 64 Tempest. And I have multitude of projects I wanted to work on, but um, I decided to break off and just do the timing for this week's video. So yeah, we're gonna be timing a GM inline six. The Pontiac 215's a bit of an anomaly. And I say that because it was only offered for two years from my understanding. And it was only offered in the 64 Tempest and Le Mans and the same thing in 65. Other than that, it was never available. But it's the same engine as the Chevy 194 and 230. It kind of mixed parts from the two. And it's the same basic thing as a Chevy 250, 292. Also, the same method. I hadn't tried it, but it should work on a Ford or a Mopar. But anyway, we we'll go get the timing straight on this old Tempest, so let's dig in. So yeah, it's been a minute since the thing's been started. Battery doesn't have quite enough. I'm hoping, hoping a little while with jumper cables off the truck will help. But while I've been waiting, I've gone ahead and marked the harmonic balancer at the notch where supposedly top dead center is, and I made a couple marks on my timing notches, one at zero degrees, one at four degrees, one at six degrees. And I looked up online, I found a website that has the timing measurements on pretty much any car. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'll put a link up and I'll probably put a subtitle down here that tells you where to go for that. But anyway, after I get this thing started, I'm going to get the timing set on it. So I know it's time set so we can adjust the carburetor. Now, to understand how to do timing and carburetor adjustments, um, I can, I'm really a rookie at this, so I'm taking some lessons I've learned myself online and applying them to this. And I will tell you, Junkyard Dinks, Kevin does an excellent tutorial on how to do the timing and the carburetor and such. And I think I'll put a link to that up here somewhere. Um, really, I'll check that video out. Um, but why you should continue to watch this one instead of just jumping over to his, is I'm going to take the lessons that I've learned in that and put it to practical use. He also does it on a four barrel carburetor with a V8. Today I'm doing a single barrel on an inline six. So I imagine there'll be some differences, but we're going to take the lessons, apply them to this, and get this old straight six running like it should. Another thing I'll mention is he said that he likes the timing lights with a dial on the back, so you aren't sparking around with these buttons. You can just adjust it easily. And He's got a point. I, I understand where he's coming from. Um, the reason I chose not to do that and go with one of the ones that you're sitting farting around with, as he says, is because I think only one of my old cars, if I remember right off the top of my head, has a tachometer. If I'm doing like the advanced timing, I don't know what RPM I'm running at. So that's why I decided to go with this one. All right, so I got the Tempest outside, and I've gone ahead and hooked up the power leads to the timing light. Now I've got the thing clamped over the number one, so I'm going to lean everything back here because I don't want my stuff getting caught in the fan. And down there, I hope y'all can see, are my timing marks. Anyway, let me go ahead and get the car started.
Alright, so we're idling around 800 RPM. And we are showing that we're right about 4 degrees of timing. Which is exactly what the factory thing showed me. Now, also I pay attention to that video. We don't have a warranty to deal with. And let me tell you, this car right here is slow as my lasses. I think I might try to take it to about 6 mark. Uh, yeah, I should have loosened this first. Now, if when you're doing your timing, you're messing around and you just mess everything up. You cannot get it straight for nothing. I'll try to get y'all down there. I know it's going to be hard to see. But you can line your timing marks on your harmonic balancer to zero. And once you do that, pop your cap like so. Yeah, I uh, accidentally got way out of time. Now, my timing mark is just after. So if I did it straight on, it'd be slightly to the retard. So, taking that into account, this particular one is 5, which is the second one to fire in order. The distributor goes that way. So, I'm going to all right, that should be close. I'm going to tighten it up some. Yeah, my radiator's hot. got the timing where I want it. This thing was super sensitive. 
I had a little bit of a learning curve, but nonetheless, I got to five degrees initial timing. Now, while I still got the vacuum unhooked, I need to check total timing. And I, while I was fiddling with it, and you know, I saw it rev up a few times, I was able to figure out, you know, what that we were advancing mechanically. And I tested the vacuum by just sticking the hose in my mouth and sucking it. I could see that that worked. So anyway, I'm going to try to see how much total timing we got. Thirty degrees at two thousand RPMs. So we got pretty advancing fifteen degrees and what twelve, thirteen hundred RPMs. I got a spot on my face. That's not bad. As you can see, I'm drenched. All that sweat. So I'm gonna call it a day for now. We got the tempest. Front brake display, I got to bleed, bleed the back one still. And I got it timed. So I'm going to call that good for the day and pick up later on. Alright, so now that we got the timing set on the Tempest, we can dig in on some of the other tune up stuff, but that will be on another episode. Um, got some great news. Um, tomorrow has supposed to be 81. That'll be the first day it's not been the 90s in over two months here. So. Looking forward to that. Looks like we're finally going to get a break from the heat, which means I can get some better videos out. So go ahead, if you would please, like this video, hit the subscribe button. Helps the channel. Doesn't cost you anything. Takes maybe a second. Um, and it... And we got some stuff coming on this channel. As you can see, i got a whole garage of cars behind me. And there's some that you can't see in here. The Falcon, uh, it's behind that wall. This garage has been added on to. Um, the old white Dodge truck. I got a friend coming over this weekend. He's going to kind of help me understand a couple things that, um, that are happening with that. And then that means we can get that back on the channel. I got a couple things off site that I'm going to bring, bring in here shortly. So, got lots of stuff coming. Got big plans for the channel. Unfortunately, I did not get a submission for the viewer's vehicle this week. Um, if you would like to show off your vehicle, kind of a grown-up show and tell on my channel, just email me. I got a link down in the description. Email me 7 to 12 pictures and just a little narrative of what you want me to say about your vehicle. Because I'd love to have it on here, give you a chance to showcase your vehicles on my show. So, take care of your projects. I'll see you again soon. Stay safe out there. Stay cool. And I can't wait to see you again.